Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for joining me this week. So this week I'm going to be talking about the components of concept-based curriculum and instruction and breaking down some of the terminology and all the different components that constitute concept-based curriculum and instruction. So if you're interested in this topic, then please keep on watching. Okay, so this week you can see I've got this uh, infographic on what the components are of concept-based curriculum and instruction. And rather than me going into a lot of detail about each of these components, I'm just gonna give you the headlines. And then I do suggest that you do further reading of Dr. Lynn Erickson and Dr. Lois Lanning's work. Uh, they have written several books that really are detailed and very, very helpful. Um, I can only give a brief summary here at this stage, and so I do recommend that you uh, for, read further on. Okay, so let me just make myself a little bit smaller, move myself out of the way. Let's start off with uh, the cornerstone of concept-based curriculum and instruction, and that is the structure of knowledge and the structure of process. So these structures are fundamental to every single discipline and represent the content and knowledge of every discipline, as well as the processes, strategies, and skills of every discipline. So I have a brief explanation here, and I'll put a link to this graphic uh, in the comment section below so that you can have a read of it. But the cornerstone, I would say, are these two structures, the structure of knowledge and the structure of process. And then the next component that I like to explain is what a concept is and then also what a conceptual lens is. So in terms of the definition of a concept, we're going to use Dr. Lynn Erickson's definition of what a concept is. And that is basically what is universally adopted around the world. And here, a conceptual lens, which we always identify for a unit. So we choose one or two interdisciplinary macro concepts for every unit to help provide that depth and focus of any unit. Now, another component is, and a question that I get quite a lot is, what's the difference between the facts, skills, and strategies and processes? So in this brief paragraph, I talk about what the facts are, what the strategies, skills, processes are, uh, based on um, Dr. Lynn Erickson again and Dr. Lois Lanning's work. And then this important component about synergistic thinking, which is key and core as well to a concept-based uh, curriculum and instruction model. And that includes the KUDs, which represents a three-dimensional curriculum design model and represents what we want students to be able to know, understand, and do. And then another important component is this idea of inductive learning versus deductive learning. So you might be interested in exploring those ideas uh, a little bit further. And I'm gonna move myself now over here. Um, another question that comes up is, and I mentioned this before, you know, when do we know when a discipline is more content driven and when is it more process driven? Because that will inform how we design our units. Then I've got here these important elements of um, assessing and also adapting and being flexible in terms of your approach. So I talk about assessment as collecting evidence of student learning. I talk about the importance of differentiated learning and uh, honoring our students as individuals and uh, it, the importance of inquiry-based learning as well and allowing our students to be curious, to be motivated and to make meaning of different concepts and the relationships for themselves. So they're the main components of concept-based curriculum and instruction. And most of the questions that I do receive are about what do these elements mean and how they fit together. Um, so I do highly recommend reading Dr. Lynn Erickson and Dr. Lois Lanning's work so that you can understand and unpack these ideas even further. If you have any questions or if you think there is a missing component from here, please put it in the comment section below. Thank you so much for joining me again this week and I hope to see you next time.